it's hard to speak in terms of the midterm elections and this subject because we have had, shall we say, a disagreement on the subject. When Kathy had her bill on the floor, our colleagues said, why are we having this discussion? There is no climate crisis, it's all a hoax. We have to get over that. I place my confidence in their children, who hopefully will teach their parents that this is urgent, long overdue. Uh, but again, how we uh, will address it is to get working together. Maybe Kathy would like to add. Well, good afternoon. It's, um, we come to this COP with not just talk anymore, but with real concrete action out of the United States Congress, uh, led by uh, the most effective speaker in the history of the United States of America, and Speaker Nancy Pelosi. She has been at this. Uh, the, tackling the climate crisis has been her flagship issue. And many of you remember over a decade ago, she led the charge in a different select committee on global warming. And we passed in the House climate action. Unfortunately, it didn't get through the Senate. This year, finally, we deliver through the Inflation Reduction Act the most important climate bill in the history of America. Uh, but that was the follow-on to the bipartisan infrastructure law that also doubles down on building resiliency uh, across the country, especially vulnerable communities and frontline communities, doing more on environmental justice, uh, doing more on the transition to the vehicles that we drive, uh, but also significant progress in uh, chips and manufacturing in America and science. Because what we want folks here at this COP, want our friends across the globe to understand is that America is ready to participate at a much higher level through science, technology, resilience that you all, that the Atlantic Council and the Arsh Rockefeller Center is so focused on. So this is a time of action. I know we're talking about this COP being the implementation COP. And now, thankfully, the U.S. is going to have the tools to implement and meet our goals of getting to net zero as quickly as possible and no later than 2050. 